Probably like ultimate. Actually, so shit is I've been doing all that off the stream on accident. I'm so sorry. You've been what? So they missed out on us going through the sewers and us killing the. They just missed out on a lot. So you're talking about the whole police station shit they just missed? Initially? Yeah! They missed us being racist as shit. Uh, that, that wasn't racism. I believe you might be able to do it. You're right, that was totally homophobism. I'm joking, by the way. You showed a lot of that was borderline psychopathic she tendencies. Well, yeah, just a little. Oh! oh. Oh yeah, diabolical machete. Oh fuck yeah. I'm gonna shove it up my butt. I'm turned on. Are you horny? Cause I'm horny. Look at my machete. So um not at the risk of sounding insensitive. Are we gonna get that girl some new pants? Cause she's wearing the same pants. And, um, I don't think that's sanitary. Hey, Devin, I want you to know something. We fucking leave everyone behind. Do you know that? I, I, I fucking don't care. <laughs> What the shit? I'm getting attacked by zombies already. Wait, do we just go and do we just stick in the circle? Get in the car, Devin. Oh, we get to drive this thing? Mm-hmm. There, we get to drive this thing a total of three times in the whole game. Why did you turn this way? This is a weird way to go. So, she just wants to get off this island, right? At this point. Hey, over here, moron! So, like... Where the fuck am I supposed to go, eh? Do you want me to drive? Oh, we're going to the lifeguard tower! Get in the car! Hey, do you think her dad's gonna be pissed that we didn't take care of her? Dude, her dad's dead. Oh. For sure, like, he's been dead for days. Mm-hmm. Sam B's kind of an ass, but he does have a point that, like... What? Trust him kind of hard after she almost got all of us killed having to save her ass when we specifically told her not to go back there. Yeah. It's her fault. <clears throat> like, I understand that it's a mistake and everyone makes mistakes, but it's a mistake that could have cost a lot of people their lives. Not just her. Hey, Devin, you ever wonder why we're here? Why we're here? We are here, yeah. As in, our characters on this island? No. Or, like, existentially, why we exist. The latter. All the fucking time. Alright. There's a real think about and it occupies a lot of my time. What about the former? 
Uh, well, my character's here because he was a rapper working for the resort. Your character's here because he was on vacation. Because it's the off-season. Yeah. Uh, the Asian chick worked at the hotel, and the black chick, I'm pretty sure, was also on vacation. No, she worked security. Oh, yeah, she was security for... I think she might have been security on my crew. Like no, for, for the for the hotel. Yeah, she was working security the night that uh, my character was performing mm. when all this shit went to hell. Technically, Sam B. and I forget what your character's name is. Logan, were, I think. Sam B. and Logan were the closest people to the epicenter of the infection on the island. No, actually, they weren't. At the resort, yes, but the island, fuck no. Yeah, sorry, you're right, the resort. Because they were both at the party when they were, when it started to go. Oh, God. Ooh, I leveled up. Because they were both at the concert when shit went tits up at the, con at the resort. I mean, you probably won't become them. More weeks of hope. Sadly, not for everybody. But you're probably wondering if we reach that guy on the radio, right? Yes. Deuce. Told you our equipment turned out to be too weak. Dominic and a few others headed to the hotel to try the antenna there. We haven't heard from them for two days. So you're our last hope. You need to find them. We need to pray that he's still alive. Because he's the only one who can get that hotel antenna up and running. Do we have to go back to the hotel, though? I'm willing to bet that the Russian can do it. Your turn to drive, Devin. You want me to drive? Yeah, like, a, like good a good neighbor, Devin is there! I'm not driving this thing, though. I can't see any of where I'm going with that thing. Alright, let me just... Pull it forward. Yeah, that was the plan. Is she just gonna sit there depressed the whole time? I mean, she was molested, so... Oh, no, she definitely was more than molested. Did you see the purple marks on her throat in that cutscene? No. No, she... she She's gonna need therapy when this is all over. She's not sure she gonna get therapy. I'm pretty sure she doesn't even survive to the second game. I'm pretty sure she dies on that big boat at the beginning of the second game, if not before that. Dude. I was practicing. She doesn't time. even make it to the boat. She gets shot by the motherfucker on the radio. And then he turns zombie. I didn't know that. You beat the game with me before! Yeah, but I, I completely forgot that he fucking shoots her. And then he turns zombie after infecting himself with the virus! Because he was trying to cure himself. It was a fake cure. No, he was trying to cure his wife! He's also a military guy. Yeah. And in the DLC, you can actually play as him. I have I have a, a version of him on this account. So do I. I have the DLC, although I haven't I haven't done anything with it. Let's go. Put his shirt on. It's ten after. Where the fuck is he? Did we just skip a whole mission? No. 
This is the hotel. Would have been nice if that was a mission, though. Maybe we should try again in an hour. An hour? <sighs> 104.8, are you there? Can you hear us? This is 104.8. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hang tight, 104.8, because we're coming for you, buddy. That is if the offer still stands. Of course. I'll call in a helicopter. We'll be evacuated to the nearest aircraft carrier. But first, you have to get here. We have wheels, we have gas, we'll get there. Wheels won't cut it. We need a boat. <laughs> well, why not? Where the hell are you? You see the ocean? That island on the horizon? If you had a high powered telescope, you'd see me waving to you. That's where the prison is. Who the fuck are you? A convict? Speak! My name is Ryder White. I'm a colonel with the BIDN. Banoi Island Defense Force. I came to the prison to get my wife. A doctor, Emily White. Can we speak with her? What's that? Come again? We want to speak to I her. I told you, she's barely here. Beaten by one of the infected. She was trying to help him. Heal him. I only know all this because of her. Listen, you try to soften us up by making us feel sorry for your wife and then promise us a way off this goddamn island, all from a fucking prison? Of course you're gonna be suspicious. Who do you think I found you at the hotel? I'm a BDIF colonel, not some thug in a cell. So why don't you call your own people? Contact the fleet. Do you hear how bad the reception is? A bloody monsoon's coming. The fleet is 80 miles offshore, in the middle of the storm. The satellite's down. We're cut off. Any more questions? He's telling the truth. And how would you know? She's not just a hotel desk clerk, right? Time's running out. You coming or what? I guess we don't have a choice. But first we need to find a goddamn boat. There's no point. This is Benoy. The prison is surrounded by a minefield. You have to find a guide through to the bunkers inland to Mengindi and find a smuggler called Moen. He knows the way. Bunkers? Japanese bunkers from the wall. They're mostly destroyed, so you should have no problem entering. They will lead you inland. All right, White. Devin! I'm you at your word. If this is but some kind of con, I will personally take you I'm off still the in the cutscene. Are you not in the cutscene? Oh, I am. Okay. So the time span of the first game. Get this. 18 hours. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Three zombies walk straight past me. How the fuck does this happen in 18 hours? And also, why do all the zombies look like, uh, I almost said Ned Kelly? Why are we riding and not driving? Uh, because it's routing me around the hotel. Whatever. I was gonna say, I'm just following the dots. Ow! There's a crate back here with a crowbar in it. Now you listen here, motherfucker! Are you getting tit stomped? No, but I threw a machete in his throat and it somehow cut his arm off. How? I don't know. Ask the game its logic. It was hanging on by just a thread. And you just winged him. So I think we cleared out most of the zombies from the, the resort, by the way. Or at least the, the beach side part of the resort. Never mind. What? About... Devin, start running, come on. Up, start running. Down. Fuck you. I don't even like walking, and you want me to run? Get me one of those fucking powered scooters from Walmart. <laughs> right? No, but seriously, I could make the run from the top of those stairs down to the bottom unobstructed in probably 18 seconds.
Fuck I you, you on. Devin, over here. Oh, did I go to the wrong guy? I guess so. If you're heading for the jungle, then the fastest way is through the tunnel. I've been hearing shit, I gotta say. The most dangerous animals out there are human. And I don't mean the dead ones. Shit's been going on there for years. Oh! Way before this Never fight. mind. Two names keep coming up. Afran and Matutero. Stone Cold Killers is what I hear. So if that's where you're going, you watch your ass. You want to get into those old war bunkers, you're going to need something to blow through those armored doors. Let me see what I got. Maybe I can put something together with that Semtex you salvaged from that helicopter crash. Wonder why the hell they were flying around with that shit in the first place. Let me get to work putting together a fuse. Come back in a bit, and I'll have something you can actually use. Wait, we had we found stem techs in that group in that bunker. How the fuck did we find stem techs in that bunker? Also, oh, okay. So it's at least twenty eight days after the pot the zombies. Outbreak or something. So basically, the game is only 18 hours in real life. Yeah. Or in game go. life. But the thing before started way before it. Yeah. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, well, I have. Back up, please. So you think this came from aliens, you dumb fuck? I hate to break it to you, but it started off with cannibals in the jungle. Like, legit, though. that that That's what people think happened. Like, in real life, that's what people believe happened. That it started with the, can the cannibals in the jungle because they ate the brains of whatever and someone got a disease and then it evolved. With metal scrap and bleach. What about it? Metal scrap and bleach? Ooh, shock mod. With, yeah. I, I have that. See? Oh, my mace. Look at my mace. I heard we're heading into the box. Michael, turn around. Look. <sighs> Look at my mace. Nice. And then I just made pistol ammo. Them they were no thanks. Alright, hey Devin. Alright, let's accept the quest. I need to get some water. No! Uh uh, can't do it. I'm a good I can't really turn you down now, can, can I? You're trying to drive. No, it's not. I need to get water! Well, then get water and come back. I'm, you're not the only one that has to do shit. I need to go get tea. Yo, I for real hate driving this thing. It's hard to see at it. Right? I'd much prefer a driver's slit. Although, if they're not made right, you're just gonna smack your face into it. A driver's slit is basically just a, a... Instead, you see that flat line on the dashboard? Instead of having bars on the windshield like that, you would just have a sheet of metal that goes straight up, and there'd be a little box right in front of your eyes that you could see the entire windshield from. What the fuck? drive than having bars on the window like that mm. either way it really doesn't matter you're still driving something that's longer than it is wide so it's kind of a pain in the ass yeah it's kind of what driving a box truck is like dude yeah god damn You crashed once and then crashed again as just impact. To be fair. I s to be far I can't fucking see shit. 
Neither can I. Is my microphone picking up the controller vibrating when you hit shit, by the way? Yeah. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some water. I'm gonna get some tea. Hey Devin, I'm back. Someone must have oh, I just got back too. That's fucking cool. We have to follow her and protect her. God damn it, I have to protect this bitch again? Yeah. It's well, we should be fine as long as no. Hey, look at the bright side. At least the bony arm guys aren't until the second game. No, they, they're in the jungle part of this game. No, 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 they're in the second game. No, they're in the jungle part of this game because I was playing this game and in the jungle part. No. Yeah. I swear, I thought they were just in the second game. They're more prevalent in the second game. Watch out! More are coming. Oh, you fucking bitch. Devin! She stopped! Let me get my fucking machete. Just to be safe, I cut her head off. Maybe this time, don't fucking stop! She is like casually walking. We are in a. F out in the open of a zombie apocalypse, and you just wanna fucking walk? I mean, to be fair, she might. To be fair. Might still be from the last one. It's real close by. Devin, there's no excuse to be walking in a zombie apocalypse unless you're in a fucking safe zone walled off. For a second I thought she was wearing sandals. No, she's wearing boots. Dude, you don't fucking see it, but he's still fucking. He's like leaning over and like standing at the same time, but like kind of doing the splits on my screen. Like, dude. He's on the ground, though. Okay, now he's on the ground. You ever notice that people are easier to kill than the Zeds? Cause you can shoot people in the fucking skull twice and they'll die. Yeah, but you should only have to shoot the Zed. 
you know, the undead in the skull once and they go down. Quick. Third objects have it. I shouldn't have done that. Stop it, Devin! Okay, I got all my shit. I had to pull one knife out. The rest of them were yours. Why are there crate? Hold on, there's got to be something we can use these crates for. I think we have to drop them off somewhere. Devin. What? Father. We're blowing it up. Okay. One. Two. <laughs> My hands aren't even around the bars, they're like, kind of deep. Oh, I've, I've been in this one. You like my wrench? Did you just pick the wrench up? Mm-hmm. It was in the box. Okay, but like, oh, why the fuck do you, would you need a wrench this fucking big? Like, legitimately. Legitimately? Yes, legitimately. And I know I said that right. Legitimately. As in, the vagina, legitimately. Ah, uh, yes. Legitimately. We're in Act 3 now. Yay! Welcome to the jungle! Alright, I'm gonna end it here because I have to go to bed. Because I have work tomorrow. Good night. All right, hold on. You out your mind? We supposed to get the fuck off this island, not hike deep into the goddamn jungle. We need Moen for that. Trust me, he's the only one that can get you past those floating mines. Do what he wants, and he'll do what you want. Get him to the bloody lab. This isn't only about what Moen wants, is it, White? You're pushing us there for another reason. Don't you understand? Each one of you has had contact with these things, and none of you have gotten sick. Your blood could be used to make some sort of antidote to save my wife. She's still alive? They gave us something, some medicine. I don't know what it is. It slows down the process, but not forever. Doctors in the lab could use the antibodies in your blood to create some sort of cure. It may be Emily's only chance. What the fuck? Well, what do we do? We do what's right. We do the right thing. Hannah, you are a police officer. You protected those who couldn't- Oh, she's a cop! This is your path. Yeah. Jim, you're more full of compassion than any of us. You know what it's like to lose someone you love. You didn't notice what that she was wearing a police belt? You fucking kid. No! Yeah, she's, she's wearing a police belt. Well, I do. Now I notice. Time to step up, Logan. You in the game, or warming the bench? Sam B? I do yeah, think it's kind of funny that she cool. tore her dress to make it easier to run. Alright, so it, get, it's time for me to end it here because I have to go to bed. So, I will see you guys next